to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway or you can call us on 7657-479. 9808483-340-9400 or 6359906. Thinking of owning your dream homes, EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms, or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegal Mayor Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Kerfatu Live. I am Lamin Cham. Uh, welcome to our weekly current affairs program that discusses the major topics of the week on this channel. That's Kerfatu Live. Good. 
this week, well, we got hooked up with, uh, well, we met uh, another presidential aspirant in the name, of course, of Papa Fall, who claim he is going to contest on an independent ticket on a campaign he calls Nemo or Kaironi Nemo platform. We will catch up with their latest developments and he will share his thoughts on the political ground generally, but particularly, of course, we are very close to nominees on day. We will discuss uh, the discussions surrounding eligibility or eligibility, if you like, of uh, candidates, or, or perhaps we discussed how serious are some of the people who have come out to claim that they want to to claim the presidency from the clutches of Adam Abaro. Of course, he was one of them. Pa, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's good to be here again. Good. Let's first very quickly catch up with your campaign. Uh, nominations at the corner. Mm -hmm. Not much have been heard from your campaign. Mm -hmm. Let me begin by asking this, because this is a time people want to know, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak, take the chaff from the wheat. Mm -hmm. That is, those who are really serious contenders and those who are actually just mere slogan chanting <laughs> gangs, uh, when the nominations come, we will know who is who. Let me ask you once again, are you definitely going to put your name in the ballot? Definitely. You will? No doubt. All right. <laughs> now, so far, tell us, bring us to speed. How, uh, I mean, how, how much of the country have you covered, so to speak, since you uh, launched your campaign? Um, thank you so much, Lamin. Uh, it's good to be here again. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, in our last program with you, mm -hmm. um, we have uh, discussed that we are definitely going to contest. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've been laying our groundwork. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably the reason why not many people have been hearing about us. Mm -hmm. uh, because we don't want to uh, put the cart before the horse. Um, we have been going around since we launched uh, last November, uh, meeting with alcalos and imams and uh, village and city elders. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been, we went all the way to uh, Koina, mm -hmm. Wuli, mm -hmm. back Katong, I think almost three times, uh, because when we launched, we sent our first uh, contingent of uh, greetings. Mm -hmm. uh, they went uh, sometime in, in December mm -hmm. and then we came back. They, when they came back, we sent them back again. Uh, and myself and my team also embarked. Uh, we went all the way again. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just a month ago, a month and a half ago, uh, I sent also a team that went all the way to Wuli, uh, to Sami uh, and back. Um, we've been doing a lot of greetings, uh, giving color notes, mm -hmm. uh, and our uh, expressing our intentions mm -hmm. and providing them with our our uh, posters, mm -hmm. explaining to them our uh, our agendas mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the country mm -hmm. and what we, are, we intend to do for them. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing that. Uh, I think that. If, if there is a place that we haven't reached, it's not going to be much. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, unlike uh, other parties, uh, mm -hmm. I see that not much have been seen mm -hmm. visibly from your campaign. Yes. Like I'm talking in terms of big rallies. Almost all the uh, well, people who claim to be top contenders have organized big rallies. Um, uh, I mean, where they kind of show their strength or have been moving, uh, you know, quite... Uh, frequently in and around the regions mm -hmm. you've not been doing that why didn't you think it's important to have at least one big rally where you're gonna launch at least people to know that yes mr. Fall and his campaign to be really serious mm -hmm. about these elections um, I always say you cannot go to somebody else's compound mm -hmm. and gather their family members and talk to them mm -hmm. without the uh, first having to go to the elder, the mm. head of the household, and presenting your honor to them. Mm. Uh, big rallies can happen, mm. but if we are not able to get finish our work mm. uh, of greetings, mm -hmm. uh, greeting the elders, mm. I, don't, I think it's premature mm. for but us then to go around. But you don't have time. The nomination is just next week. The election is next month, so yes. to speak about 
uh, a month uh, and, and a week or so to go. When are you going to have, um, a, I mean, a serious program? If you think still now, what is important is to consult the elders and the adults at their compound. No, the, 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 the consultations of elders is done. Uh -huh. We're done with that. Uh -huh. uh, we divided our, 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 our campaign program in three phases. Mm -hmm. Uh, phase one was what we have been going through mm -hmm. phase two mm -hmm. now that's where we entered right now mm -hmm. and uh, we've been just yes last uh, this week sometime i went to Perkama. Mm -hmm. we had uh, a, a, a community com a discussion there mm -hmm. um, right now the next step that we're doing is we are organizing a big rally mm -hmm. uh, that we are going to hold in Perkama. Mm. Uh, that is coming out very soon okay. and uh, we are identifying places that we are going to do rallies on mm. uh, it's true that we have not been uh, going in public eyes uh, and just but we've been uh, talking especially in on your papers mm -hmm. uh, uh, updating people uh, our, our citizens mm -hmm. and then doing programs mm -hmm. I've been here on this program for mm -hmm. several times mm -hmm. uh, talking about our our stance mm -hmm. uh, I think that it is true uh, this is uh, a program that uh, you know you it's a it's a procedure where people can try to beat one another in the public image mm -hmm. uh, but it is all about the quality mm -hmm. of uh, the, the 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 presentation that we are going to do mm -hmm. and i i believe that everything has time mm -hmm. uh, true we may be dragging our feet people think that we are not serious mm -hmm. but we are uh, when the time has come already mm -hmm. that we are working towards right now you see we are not having problems uh with nomination filling up nominations I, I was because coming there. I we've was been, we have been to these people already I'm, okay i'm coming to that you mm -hmm. said you definitely will put your name in the barracks meaning mm -hmm. of course you are going to be a candidate mm -hmm. after the nominations now we are getting into nominations how far have you gone in your own nomination procedure when is your nomination my nomination is on the 4th of November, uh, sorry, 5th of November. 5th of November. 5th, November 5th. That's your uh, we already set what the time? date uh, from 10.30 to 11. Now, have you completed compiling the requirements, for example, 5,000 registered voters across the region with at least, is it uh, 200 from each region? From each, have 200 you from each region. Uh, we are very close. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my team all over. Mm -hmm. um, uh, every day I'm in contact with them, especially in the provinces and here. Mm -hmm. um, we are going from place to place. Mm -hmm. We have difficulties mm -hmm. because there is always uh, people, a set of people who would say, mm -hmm. you have to give us money before we give you the, the, the papers. Oh, you come across that? A lot of them that's why we have been it's delayed because people are saying that there are some who are saying actually we have this amount of people you have to give us this amount of people and I always uh, I refuse to pay so I don't want to be t taking part in corrupt behaviors mm -hmm. uh, that's why uh, yes uh, there so are mean there are people who said they will not attest it uh, I mean your uh, nomination papers without money without giving them without money. giving them money yes and, uh, and that's really many times what, many regions that's many times even especially in the combos here and the the reason i think that i'm going to, to uh talk about uh perhaps an advice mm -hmm. that IEC should pay a close attention to some of these political parties who are going there at mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. giving people money, money and getting their uh, taking their, uh, their numbers their num not numbers their cards mm. I've been getting reports uh, in the provinces some of the people from my guys that mm -hmm. they, they go to a, a certain area and those people will say we already gave up our physical ca card mm physical card because they get they come in they you know they give them money or they promise them uh, something they take the cards it's I but think then what are you going to do with the cash because the cash will be because what out. happens is it's a game that they play if you That's, take the card yeah. if somebody else comes yeah. your card is not there so you cannot get but you don't necessarily need the card you need the numbers the number is on the card if yeah what i mean it, is so somebody who can who okay if, if, well, with a lot of I mean? people who can read and write or keep their card numbers would obviously not be able to attest one or two people yeah so if i take your card and i somebody else come you don't have your card and you don't have your numbers you cannot give it away so after nomination they will give it back and i think it's illegal 
Uh, uh, Ghanaian people need to know that it is actually illegal mm -hmm. to ask for money Mm -hmm. for you know, to attestation. nominate some attestation because mm -hmm. you, uh, they got this card for free mm -hmm. the government paid for it yeah. uh, for them to uh, to have that right mm -hmm. to vote yeah. if people are going around uh, I, I come to you and you say well you have to give me something mm -hmm. I personally will I told my people not to uh, to Do leave that. them alone okay next is yeah. tax clearance how have yes. you gone with that I have gotten all my documents ready uh, to to get the tax uh, cleared because I, I um, or how much effective has this been because it was always there I remember uh, you know there was one particular occasion when <laughs> President Jammy had to declare his assets and, 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 and said they included even what cows and geese <laughs> if you like look like but how effective do you think that these criteria have actually been uh, I mean, in the conduct of people who eventually get elected. Mm -hmm. I mean, people will say, I own this, I own this. After five years in power, I, I mean, you know, when everybody knows that probably they have got more, uh, have acquired more properties or more assets than they have before. But how much of a controlling mechanism or uh, an anti-corruption uh, fight is this asset declaration? Because I can under-declare. Mm -hmm. And who, who's, whose job oh, is to find Somebody can over-declare. With well, the we, intention that when they come back, uh -huh. you know, okay, I didn't have this before. This is what I want to have before, and then I can oh, <laughs> oh, I could say I have this when I don't have it. Yeah, and when I have it later, <laughs> when I took the office, yeah, I can always I say it, I, I put it on the list already. <laughs> so, so, in your view, what do yeah, you think so. should be done to monitor that and to make sure that uh, this declaration actually is effective and it can be? It can, you know, I mean, for the IEC to take it very seriously because. The criticisms we have against ICE is that they have to stipulate all these things, but how effectively do they enforce them? Um, for me, I think this is... Uh, the IEC, uh, from what I understand, is they want this information. Mm -hmm. Not for them to vet mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, validity mm -hmm. of what is written, but it is for somebody else maybe to do it. To do it. So if the public so, knows that, yeah, this is if what the public knows that Mr. S have, uh. then down the line, yeah, if it comes would back, you no, know? because the IEC would not come out and say, yeah, you don't provide your bank accounts because uh, oh. those are private information. You don't provide uh, uh, documents, okay. copies of documents. Okay. So I think that it is a first step right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe they need to refine. Mm -hmm. uh, down the line that people have to provide so and so but it becomes a private uh, a, an issue of privacy mm -hmm. if somebody gives you a bank account mm -hmm. or a copy of their bank uh, statements mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to, to handle that it becomes a, a privacy issue mm -hmm. uh, if it's a, uh, a house uh, deed to the house they give it away to you for verification how are you going to, to handle that. I think those all these uh, protections and mechanisms have to be in place mm. before we can be able to have a structure that is uh, sound. Right now it is haphazard. Mm. I think we are just writing and then uh, we have uh, we have to notarize it and then we take it swear and notarize. So if you if you are uh, an honest man you mm. swear mm. it's okay. If you are dishonest you can swear it doesn't make any difference. So. Good. Uh, another person is ten thousand dollars deposit. This, you know, this was five hundred thousand mm -hmm. um, in twenty sixteen, mm -hmm. uh, in the period before twenty sixteen. Amended now to ten thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Now the argument is okay. Makes democracy even more merrier. Uh, people will not have to be uh, obstacled or hampered by lack of money. Or they, people don't necessarily have to go to great lengths to raise money just to seek for the president mm -hmm. but on the other hand many people argue that ten thousand dollars is too cheap that every unserious person as we suggest as we are seeing now mm -hmm. and you know everybody will just draw uh, i mean a design and said ah i mean jam for 2021 sana for 2021 i mean if the if the deposit is as cheap as ten thousand I mean, anybody can come and play with the system and just pay 10,000, get these 5,000 registers, and the IC will have to provide 1,000, I think 662 or so, mm -hmm. ballot boxes, boxes. Yes. for that individual. Yeah. If there are too many of such jokers, then you have a system which is saturated 
with things that other people want who are not serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? I mean, <laughs> there should have been a lot more scrutiny or a lot more rigorous procedures to pass mm -hmm. before one is able to become a presidential candidate. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the feeling is that everybody's now felt that the presidency is so cheap that anybody can declare. That is the problem. This might be said of yourself. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, some people yeah. may think you are not serious. You are one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so how do we go about this mm -hmm. in your view? Uh, it is definitely a serious matter. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, the 500,000 was uh, there as a suggestion, mm -hmm. and I think for political parties. No, that's for that's one million. Then one million is yes. for political for registration. Yeah, the and then for 500, I think it should have been 500,000, to be honest with you. Well, they amended it. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the National Assembly and others assembled and it because the criticism was that it was too far, too much. Political parties were arguing that why it is not fair for independent candidates to pay 10000 Exactly, then, that's what I'm coming to that. You see. Uh, so, but if you look at it, political parties have uh, a lot bigger force than the behind them, than the independent candidates. But I think that 500000 is reasonable enough, and it is going to deter some of the people who are coming up right now, and anybody wants to be a president. But, but the on the other hand... The argument against it was it is retarding democracy you now people may not have to go to great lengths or to borrow or, or to, to 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 make arrangements that would suggest that when i'm elected i'll pay you they don't want a corrupt person mm -hmm. eventually getting elected because you have to pull money one through one way or the other they said that was the argument but mm -hmm. on the other hand it makes it a lot more cheaper Imagine a deposit of ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Anybody can bring mm -hmm. up that, even somebody who's not serious. Yeah. Well, uh, I th if I am to say about uh, our democracy, it's uh, right now we haven't had this kind of uh, attention to a presidency for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is new. Mm -hmm. We are testing our democracy, and and right now it's going through a phase. Mm -hmm. I think that the next election cycle we might look at look at uh, how what best maybe if it's not cash mm -hmm. it could be something else mm -hmm. that we can be able to put in place mm -hmm. uh, to ensure like for example uh, ensuring that uh, there's a debate uh, people get dropped mm -hmm. before the nomination time because mm -hmm. I've seen that in, like in many other places yeah, yes in, uh, in, in Iran Senegal, for example. yeah yeah because even this voter register attestation 5,000 is, is a lot more it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a, a lot very, it's, no I mean I don't think it's much mm -hmm. because you know 250, at least 250 people mm -hmm. uh, must attestate your nomination in every region. Mm -hmm. That's 200, too, yeah. For me, it's too easy to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's too easy to achieve. Well, if, if, if it's not easy if, if, if you don't have money uh, in this day <laughs> so and age. What I mean is that because, <laughs> I mean, it's supposing it should be 100,000. I mean, we have a register. That's a of, lot. We have a register of almost a million. But at, you got least if it is 100,000. Mm -hmm. And they said at least ten thousand or twenty thousand from each region. Apart from that, would be, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that would be a lot more uh, rigid and a mm -hmm. lot more difficult to obtain. Mm -hmm. So you will only have serious contenders actually who will spend resources to get yeah, that. To get that. But yeah. when you need only five thousand two hundred and fifty from mm -hmm. each region, for me, you know, somebody, anybody, even those who are not serious, can just get you know get some money at one go. Go and party it and get these things and, and, and keep the uh, joke mm -hmm. rolling up to the ballot box and then, you know, make... The ballots are very expensive. I think that if we go to paper ballots... Well, you know, that, that argument against be, that also. Yeah. The IEC said, that's, that's always been the IEC's argument that, look, these things are expensive and mm -hmm. too cumbersome. Paperwork actually, paper ballot actually makes it easier. But mm -hmm. you know, the argument against that was that it's too soon. Uh, yeah, it's too soon. Yeah. If people uh, don't understand it. I think uh, uh, for this election, paper ballots are too late. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we want to maintain this uh, kind of uh, process, mm -hmm. I think that uh, the next election cycle, the IEC should better organize, mm -hmm. uh, sensitize on the paper ballots and provide mechanisms that will prevent fraud. And then we get to get get to those things uh, going. Okay, let's go to the next thing that seemed to have generated a debate. That is the residency qualifications. Mm -hmm. I mean, they said at least um, reasonably, or it's not a candidate. Five years, five years should mm -hmm. be resident in the country. Yeah. Yeah. This was open to a lot of interpretation, yeah. and, and there are a lot of people 
in the race or who have declared interest in the race who might not have necessarily um, all the time lived in this country mm -hmm. ordinarily yes because yeah. I mean, ordinary that's why it says yes, ordinary, ordinary residents what do you understand from that ordinary residents and uh, residency it's different okay what do you understand? uh residency is you are here yeah and this is where you live mm -hmm. and what ordinary residency it's like uh, is provided for people who uh you, like for example you go outside yes. you spend three four five months and there come, and you work every year you come at least every year you come Once you have twice. assets here you have yes. you have connection to your country okay that is the idea behind the ordinary, ordinary residency, residency yes. uh yes. legally because uh, uh, if you look at other places they have the same thing mm -hmm. uh, i've looked at the one in england and uh, and, and canada mm -hmm. so they are complete uh, they are different mm -hmm. but the idea is the same mm -hmm. that if you uh, you don't have to live in your country, mm -hmm. but you have to be able to have a link. Yes, at least, yeah, that is, at least every, like you're at every your, year, right, right yeah, down to the elections. Yeah, right down to the elections. Either uh, every year, but you can have uh, your family there or your house there that you return to, okay. you know, because okay. circumstances can prevent people from coming in every year, mm -hmm. but then this is their home. Yeah. So, so ordinarily ordinarily yes so that's what that's what consti constitutional and, so and let me start from with you since mm -hmm. 2017 or 16 yeah. you have been ordinarily living in the gambia i've been here on and off in fact most yes. of the time in the last five yeah. years or so yes you have been here yes i yes. mean uh, what do you make of people who want to make those issues as issues you know through which some people can be disqualified they believe a lot of people some are dual citizens but then of course the law is clear on dual citizens what do you make of that the, i think that still the law is still ambiguous are you uh, sure it's, it's yes. ambiguous? because um uh, look at this uh, the constitution starts with the citizenship that if you are a gambian mm -hmm. and you are a citizen mm -hmm. and you you attain other country citizenship mm -hmm. you have a choice mm -hmm. To hold mm -hmm. your citizenship mm -hmm. so the constitution gives that mandate the mm -hmm. power to hold you to be a citizen of the gambia mm -hmm. while a citizen of another country yeah but if you that's said dual if, citizen but he said if you want to become a head of state no no hold on i'm coming okay okay you move to nomination mm -hmm. iec got this information from nominations mm -hmm. uh sections mm -hmm. uh, it says number i think it's for six or 47 nominations uh, you have to be a citizen of the gambia mm -hmm. and you have to uh you have to uh, reside here and you have to do deposit and then you have to be able to actually nomination is uh be a citizen five thousand signatures and deposit mm -hmm. you move to presidency yes it says qualification to be president mm -hmm. you have to reside here ordinarily for this mm -hmm. you shouldn't be convicted of any crime mm -hmm. uh, in the country uh, you should uh, uh, you have to be uh, 30 and no more than 63 mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that have been amended mm -hmm. by National Assembly I think yeah. the top That's part they remove it mm -hmm. um, but um, then you moved to uh, the the what they argue as citizenship mm -hmm. it says that you uh, any person who is a citizen oh, yeah. a citizen mm -hmm. or a national a national of, a of another country yes other than mm -hmm. that that other than care is it's subject That's to right. interpretation Does it simply means that other yeah. than your gambian citizenship any other one disqualifies you. yeah other than yeah if you have a gambian citizenship mm -hmm. yes I mean, other than can be be mis inter be, can be interpreted well, otherwise. It simply says that if yeah. you have a nationality, yeah. Yeah. if you hold one other than mm -hmm. the Gambian one, yeah, other than which means if yeah. you if you have one if you still hold that's why Doctor Ismail Sise of this Citizen Alliance mm -hmm. recently denounced his or rather renounced renounced his citizenship. Renounced his I, I, I know citizenship. That. I know that he so, started so, the so process. So that must, there must be a purpose. He did it because it contravenes the law. No, it doesn't. I see. Uh, yes, like I said, mm. the Constitution is sub that portion is subject to interpretation. Ah, it is. Subject you don't to believe it's very. There's no ambiguity. You cannot hold to uh, dual citizenship for the office of the president what i believe there is a reason for for having to uh put that in yeah in the united states 
if you're expatriate, mm -hmm. expatriate means that you go to another country. Yes, I know, and yeah, doing and uh, yes, you are automatically done with, with the United States citizenship yeah. because mm -hmm. it doesn't. That's a conflict of mm -hmm. international law. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, that is the idea behind this, mm -hmm. that you're holding an office, mm -hmm. a decision-making office, mm -hmm. and you're belonging to two countries. Yes. You see? Yeah. There is a conflict. Absolutely. You, so you, yeah. what I'm saying is, right. by the time you hold the office, mm -hmm. that is why IEC put this up. So it you is, see the, I, let it me, is let when me you hold it or Bef not before, according to you? Before you, before you, hold, you go to that place. Mm and holding it, mm. you must denounce it. That is the idea behind this thing. It's because uh, if you go to Supreme Court, maybe uh, because, you know, interpreting the law word by word so and, in, what I'm trying and, to and having to, just listen, yeah. and having to derive a meaning, the idea behind the, process, the thing mm. are two different things. Mm -hmm. Word for word, even the other than is uh, is ambiguous. Better uh, still, mm -hmm. but somebody can say other than. Oh, okay, I have this, I have that. If I leave this thing, I got it. Or if I leave it uh, before I hold it, I got it. But what I'm saying to people is that, mm -hmm. you see, I see requirements. Mm -hmm. I see got this information from this the uh, the constitution. Yeah. If that requirement. Mm -hmm has to be uh, attained mm -hmm. before nomination mm -hmm. and for nomination mm -hmm. constitutionally mm -hmm. you you disqualify the idea mm -hmm. of being a dual citizen and being a president of another country international law doesn't allow it mm -hmm. so by the time you, you so when do you have to when do you, you have before you step into that office you need to not renounce. before like, for example, don't you do the nomination process? The nomination, nomination process is trying to stop that. That's yeah, why it but, says but you cannot hold. Okay. Listen, let, let, listen, let me go through this. And, and we have a preference. You see, uh, let, let right. me, before you read that, uh -huh. let, me say, let me say something. Uh -huh. IEC mm -hmm. body is the one that regulates this thing. Yeah. They went to the Constitution and mm -hmm. pick mm -hmm. nomination requirements. Mm -hmm. If that part is ambiguous mm. or uh, is as important as in the nomination process they would have taken it and put it in here so that part is not here it's and, not there and that is persons holding but in the same way persons convicted of crimes also which is in the condition are not also here. yeah but, okay, but what so you saying? are now suggesting that uh -huh. the IEC being the um, body responsible for elections have come out with their criteria and that's, and that's what matters and this came from the and constitution yes though. so whatever whatever somebody can is, interpret it differently different, that's and then i the, see i think let me let me we, we are hoping to connect uh, to the iec in in, in uh, i mean pr or at least uh, yeah. on these issues but then according to you okay let's let, let's go through one mm -hmm. because we're in the nomination now you, you are going on the fifth yes uh, Read a, this a candidate, if I am not com uh, a, can, a candidate shall be a citizen of the Gambia. Yes. A that's, minor the citizen that's, of the Gambia? That's, com that's, that's one is uncompromising. A minor the citizen of the Gambia? Yeah, yeah. The trouble is it should be not be uh, in the no, it, it should it not be not, of another person. It did not. not that's not it's here. Not okay, here, right? Not in there. A candidate has attained a minimum age of 30 years. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a secret. <laughs> okay. A candidate has completed senior secondary school. Well, of course, uh, you, you have passed that. A candidate has been ordinarily resident in the Gambia for the five years immediately preceding the election. Well, it's true that you have been here most of the time since 2017. That's correct. A candidate shall be nominated by no less than 5,000 voters whose names appeared in the register of voters with, an, with at least 200 voters uh, from each administrative area. That's why I said that sounds too cheap for me to, to raise 5,000. Well, of course, you have highlighted that it may not be that cheap like you have people and, and looking for money as demanding money before they can attestate your nomination that's 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 difficult and then you have to swear a declaration of assets which we have discussed and you mm -hmm. said this can be prone to abuse somebody can over declare under declare is what i think may be possible but then you said somebody can also over declare uh, you know somebody who has an intention of doing corrupt practice once elected can say well I own a mansion in Basse and another in uh, Banjul and other places so that 
when he gets his hands in the tilt, he can always say, I have said I own this. Okay, that's that's an interesting point. Tax clearance. Now, when they say tax clearance, do they mean any business that you have been? If you are a civil servant or if you're a, uh, how to call it, if you are an employee uh, or you are a businessman, you must have up to date. Mm, up, up to, to date. date. Yeah. That means if I were not a businessman, I'm, I'm an employee, I should bring you should clearance not, for all the yeah, taxes you have paid to, on my, by my company and yeah. my income tax. That's what well, it's Tax clearance means you go to, you go to uh, uh, the uh, uh, GRA, GRA mm -hmm. and they look at your files and yes. they say, okay, you don't know owe any taxes and they give you a certificate. They give you a certificate. certificate. You mm -hmm. But for, for, for somebody who's a big businessman, for example, who, mm -hmm. yeah, that well, can take some time. You take, well, no. If they are paying their taxes. If they are paying the taxes. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. mm -hmm. A deposit of ten thousand mm dollars -hmm. as amended. Like I, we discussed this thing. This was five hundred thousand mm -hmm. for a for person who wants to be president. Mm -hmm. Now it's been reduced to ten ten thousand. I told you the argument then was that so when this new government came to power, they were so serious mm -hmm. in, in, in in changing the laws they believe mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know where 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 anti democratic roles. Mm -hmm laws on the jambe they were very quick to put down things where their critics said things that shoot them mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. like this one but then this seemed to be a counterproductive not counterproductive as far as you're concerned because now mr barrow has nearly 20 people wanting to uh to, to contest you know the seat uh, against him if, if it was 500 come on this field would not have been crowded like this <laughs> You will, you will not be surprised because there are political that, parties being formed and no, they're paying political million parties dollars. Paid, that's why you don't have many political parties no, as, as independent candidates. You have, well, they said 18. 18 political okay, parties. And, they, uh, and there are two more on the world. And I'm surprised they all paid one million dollars. They, that's what I'm saying. Uh, money money oh, can yes, come yes, anywhere. Yes, that's kind of the thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least those ones have shown serious, seriousness. Then you have you have symbol, caller. Remind us, what is your symbol and caller again? Yeah? My sim our symbol is rice and oh, rice. groundnut. Ah, rice in a container, a bag or rice grain? <laughs> rice grain. Grain and, one, and, and, and ready for cooking. Yes. <laughs> and then what else? <laughs> and, and groundnuts. Ah, groundnuts. In yes. a bag or also... Uh, Open or just crash and, and, yeah, and the greens, yeah. Ah, and, and then, then what else? And you know the the tree, the green. Oh, the green yeah, tree. The green tree. I hope yeah, it's not a palm tree because no. you'll be you'll be in trouble. No. <laughs> the people of a palm tree are in trouble. No, it's it's, ah. it's the it's the uh, groundnut uh -huh. with its stems. Ah, uh, okay. And right. rice uh -huh. with its stems. With its stems. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's your that's your color. Yeah. Okay. And then the color that we have is uh, uh, sky blue, sky white, blue. and green. Okay, sky mm -hmm. blue. That's that's not PPP. No. Ah, okay. Because now. Mm -mm. How much by is there now a person who is qualified to be registered as a voter under the constitution and election may act contest an independent candidate so now that is people like you whoever got who get whoever got registered and holds uh, in fact that applies to all these people you must mm. be forced a voter first yeah before you can be able to contest so yeah. okay so, yeah, yeah. so now i made this clear yeah that these are the iec requirements mm. and these are from the constitution yes so we, you know, basically, you I think that people need to be mindful. Uh -huh. See, I see. I think I read it from your yeah. document, yeah. Uh, your paper. You yeah. were talking to the deputy yes. uh, chairman, chairman, and he was Electric. talking about mm. crisis the management. Chief electoral officer, yeah. Yeah. yeah, crisis management. Yeah, because if we are to push this, mm -hmm. UDP's leader is disqualified if we're going to say crime. Yeah, but they have always. They, they too have put up an argument that yes uh, that's that what i'm saying what has been said is uh -huh. that one must not be a public officer or one has that is not what it says like it says yes. a crime yes or, or from a court of law uh -huh. but, what I, but you see when iec picks this thing up uh -huh. they are trying to avoid crisis exactly exactly you know what i mean okay imagine if we put down there you you cannot be uh you should not be um mm -hmm. Go ahead. You should not be uh, anybody who is uh, convicted of a cr crime under the court of law mm -hmm. uh, is disqualified. Mm. UDP hears that. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. Uh, yeah you. I, I can see your concern. You were saying we to say need that to. You. You. Your, your concern is. In fact, most of the recently there have been opinion as to how uh, some people might not be qualified because they have of a their list. because of their residential. They or have some a people list. because and this they is, have, uh, this is but serious. what you're trying to say which is which is we want to get the IC on it too but then i think 
uh, to some extent, what you are saying that these are the twelve criteria. It is criteria there. That criteria that, that the IEC, IEC has, led. Yes. And nothing. That's it. Nothing. If above, I go today yeah. and I submit my papers, yeah. And then the uh, receiving officer said, "Well, where is your dual citizen extra?" And I said, "Look at this. Am I not a citizen of the Gambia? Yes. Yeah. Am I not? Am I? Have I not? Have I? Yeah. To the end of the paper. Yeah. And I say, so you're making your own laws. Yeah." You're making your own laws uh -huh. because this, your chairman says this yeah. is what we need to have. Exactly. On the other hand, yeah. the constitution said mm -hmm. and the international law said, yeah. if you, you cannot be a dual citizen if you're a policy making, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you hold a policy making position mm -hmm. in I your country, you see uh, what I mean? You have conflict. Yeah. That is the idea behind this. Yeah. Exactly. That if you're a citizen of the Gambia mm. and you're a citizen of the United States, mm. you hold an office, you're mm. making decisions yes. on behalf of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. You may have a conflict mm -hmm. if, you're, uh, uh, if you are a citizen of the United country, States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the idea behind this problem. It is not like say, okay, you, well, how many Gambians are out there mm -hmm. that are dual citizens that are doing fantastic things for this country? Okay, the next so one just, is... Uh, what I'm saying, the last one yeah. is that we need to, as a public, we need to be careful and not peddle words that can cause crisis. Exactly. Your point is, let's confine ourselves to, to the, the requirements criteria provided by, by the IEC, IEC and we stop and that it. is the 12th one. If so, you're elected, yeah. if you're but elected... But somebody might say, well, well, the constitution is clear on certain things, so what about if, if I make it my job to say, okay... The IEC's criteria is far, far too short of uh, interpreting all what the Constitution said. For example, somebody who's been convicted of a crime of this and this nature, or somebody who have not lived here uh, for uh, up to this time, I, I can go to some court and say, well, I want an interpretation whether uh, Mr. Fall had left here actually continuously, or whether Mr. Cham actually have not been once a felon or something like let's, that. Let's go contest it to the Supreme Court. But, but you cannot have your opinion yeah. in the public yeah, that's right. and causing chaos. Yeah, but if you, know, you have a but problem... in this case, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how the laws goes, but if somebody goes to the Supreme Court in November, for example, would that stop an injunction against somebody's candidate? If, this, if the Supreme Court puts an injunction, fine. Yeah. But the law has to take its course. Oh, the decision, we don't, as, as a citizen, an ordinary citizen, we don't have the right to yeah. interpret the law. Absolutely. This, like I said, it could be ambiguous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can go to the Supreme Court and, and the Chief Justice says, you know, that other than means something else. Or something else. So, 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 so what you are basically saying that uh, in the interest of peace, let's leave it and alone. And a peaceful uh, election, let us stick to what the Independent Electoral Commission says. And that's and that it. Is they, are, they are the authorities, they are the isn't it? To, so in other words, they, they are the authority. Yeah, they don't want any issues affected. We we try to have them yeah. on on the nomination process. Uh, on, yeah. the, on on one of them on the line. Uh, we, we hope we can get them. But let's yeah. let's go down to the, n the next one there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's forget. People are interested in uh, political parties shall abide by the code of um, campaign ethics, which the commission may time to time prepare. This mm -hmm. can be a problem. I know. Well, of course. You, as an independent candidate, may have a big crowd somewhere, somewhere. But the IEC always come up with campaign regulations, mm -hmm. campaign, uh, I mean, um, how to call it, um, schedules. Mm -hmm. um, but then, of course, now we have 18, 18 contenders, mm -hmm. whether they are political parties or independent. And how on earth, in this small country, can you separate these 18 parties or groups from not running into each other uh, in, in the regions and I, villages and towns. I, I see have a very daunting task. Uh, they, they put out a schedule. Mm -hmm. We have to fill it out. Mm -hmm. We have to provide our routes and we have to provide the time mm -hmm. and the place that we're going to do campaign yeah. after November 9th. Mm -hmm. So they will... From, That's from now on to November 9th, yeah. they will have to see, okay, so-and-so is doing the campaign here. We have to look at this. If, if, I, uh, if I am here first, I have priority or whatever, can we discuss and then, you know, mediate and see what best we can be able to handle this? Mm. So, yeah, because this is, I see that, uh, oh, not long ago, even the, when the president was on a tour, or mm -hmm. in Brikama, they, mm -hmm. uh, there was a opposition, I think it's UDP coming from 
uh, LRR or not mm -hmm. this particular one, the last one. And then they were going to supposed to meet in Brigham. And mm -hmm. they, I mean, the other party had to wait. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that in the heat of the campaign, when you have 18 the, in this small country, how can the UD, uh, rather the UDP be separated from uh, the NPP, <laughs> the GDC, from uh, how to call it, uh, from DOI, DOI, from uh, the rival, in fact, the rival factions of the APRC. In the same country, how can you prevent them from running against each other? That's a I big, would say this task. is a big task. Uh, well, I, I, one I think that IEC does IEC. have a, a uh, okay. They have something that ha we, maybe we have talked much to... about your campaign and <coughs> on the general matters. Now mm -hmm. I want your perspective on matters dealing with elections, but of different parties. Mm -hmm. mm. You had the NPP and the UDP, all all of them flexing their muscles. Isafal, also Esafal, flexing his muscles as recent as last night in Brickham Bar. Mm -hmm. You had the uh, uh, the upheavals, <laughs> the uproar, if you like, in the APRC camp. Mm -hmm. You even had President, uh, former President Jame, uh, I mean, uh, making his preference known uh, to the feuding APRC factions. You have all that. Sir. Let me ask you first on one perspective, uh, and that is what do you make of uh, the APRC uh, embrogolio? Um, pe people are in support of there there are people are in support of uh, mm -hmm. President Jammes directive others supporting the executive committee of, of Fabakari Tombo mm -hmm. are Tomo of different Jata, opinions. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. This is not your party but then of course this is affecting the general political landscape Harmony. and in fact sanity mm -hmm. you are very much concerned about peace and you know progress and, and a peaceful election process mm -hmm. are you concerned that uh, we have a split in the udp that gave back to npp mm -hmm. and there's a bit row between them and then you also have now within the aprc is a very big row mm -hmm. how from your neutral point of position do you think um, these things can be addressed I think that as citizens, we all need to move uh, with uh, uh, with the conscious efforts to ensure peace is is uh, you know uh, it's, it's, it's exists. Um, now the IEC, mm -hmm. the IEC mm -hmm. uh, has indicated that as far as they are concerned, mm -hmm. the APRC leadership is Fabat Kantombonjara and the rest. Mm -hmm until congress comes yeah they are the and then and this, uh, this is this this uh, IC is the authority to 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 manage these things all right now the split but that's for election purpose you see for elect IC's, yes. the IC's power stops at who represent which group yeah but all right you, you gotta remember now, also when we're having I'm, problems uh, i don't want to at you but no. i let me before okay, <laughs> okay go, ahead. I mean, go ahead i mean i've always tried to clarify it. Mm -hmm. i mean the isis problem mm -hmm. role is to ensure that this particular group are the people who represent this party mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. and it is their requirement that parties have congress mm -hmm. from which these representatives are sent to them to representing so and so party mm -hmm. however if the people within the party or group themselves have problems with their own constitution mm -hmm. they have no business with that what they will be interested in is to get in the that's why people criticize them in the case of ncp mm -hmm. you remember there were two congresses mm -hmm. two congresses there was one congress that was held and the other said, no that was not a properly national congress and the IEC had to suspend it but in this case they are not doing that that's why people are saying okay of, of course these people what i hear now is they too are going to call a congress mm -hmm. that i had on the grave mm -hmm. if that happens who is there is he going now going to suspend the party or perhaps um as of now i think that my thinking is that my opinion is that iec is going to stand its ground that you, uh, APRC has already done their Congress. Mm -hmm. It's not they don't they are not due yes, for another Congress. Congress. Yes. These are the leadership, and that's it. And that's it. Until, if they come until otherwise, until otherwise yes. 
right? Yeah. If those people who are peddling this idea of a Congress and they go to IEC, IEC can say, no, we're not accepting your thing. If you go and have another name, mm. register as another name and then we will accept. Okay. I think that because this is a simple matter. Yeah. People are arguing over leadership. Mm. The IEC's responsibility is to uh, ensure that there's harmony uh, there's political parties are registered properly mm -hmm. and the leadership is provided dually uh, by uh, co uh, Congress yeah. huh? that happened mm -hmm. and that's where it stop so if those people are coming in they're just wasting their time maybe they should they can come up with another name but now what do you make of former president Jamez's uh, stance on this matter do you think as many said you might you are, you are not APRC he had succeeded in splitting the party, dividing the party, but an order said, no, he is the supreme leader of the party, he is the one who put all this executive just by word of mouth. Why are they not respecting his word of mouth now, when in the past, his word of mouth, you know, his word of mouth is the Bible, so to speak, or the Quran mm -hmm. to them. Why now not respecting his word of mouth? I think I have... Why do they have to resort now to constitutional process when mm -hmm. in the past he can just say something just by a mouth word of mouth and it became law mm -hmm. i think that f uh, i was listening to faber kotombo uh, i think uh, press conference mm -hmm. yesterday was i when i was listening to it mm -hmm. he made a very good point mm -hmm. that when this discussion was going on mm -hmm. jamia was involved yes he was aware mm -hmm. and he had given the blessings to go ahead mm -hmm. just to turn around mm -hmm and say this is I, I wasn't aware of this mm -hmm. and Father Tom Bunjata makes a, a good point that if you cannot just say that you, you are not aware of it you, if you change your mind come and say it mm -hmm. but don't say you are not aware of it then you're throwing me under the bus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, it's, it's, it's a crisis Father Tom Bunjata I believe that they have enormous respect for Jame mm -hmm. they will never otherwise have gone against his wishes mm -hmm. but if you give me your blessings the pack is done we're going and and, and all of a sudden you change your mind mm -hmm. then that's a problem we look at what happened <laughs> like that's what i say behaviors never change mm -hmm. 2006 six, 16 election this is what happened yeah. i accept the whole world celebrated five no i'm not accepting it uh, and, so then we, and then we get into the crisis so again. You, you think this typical Jamme? He's capable, is typical he's capable of saying this to Dan Ching tomorrow. Yes. As the, as we have the, seen as the FBI's executive people maintain, they said he was, he blessed, he gave them his blessings, he yeah. just changed his mind now. Yes. What could have led him to change, what could have led him to change his mind, you think? Because it's the typical Jamme. No, I mean, <laughs> let's, let's look at the process. Yeah. The FBI's executive said yeah. that they did this for the interest of Jambe, mm -hmm. which means one, he must come back. They mm -hmm. said that's part of the agreement, even though a lot of people disagree with that, even NPP people, you know, secretly deny that. Um, the APRC would not um, produce any documents from the argument, uh, from the agreement which says Jambe should come back. That, that remains in doubt. They said they're not gonna uh, produce anything like that because they are under no obligation to do it. To do so, so, yeah. So this led to speculations that perhaps Jamme had analyzed the things and knew or and came to a conclusion that after all this partnership with the NPP is not going to give him any, any, <laughs> any benefit as the yeah. executive is claiming. Yeah. Don't you think that could be the case? It could be. For example, he, he mm -hmm. for example, there are school of thoughts which said they don't sincerely think that President Barrow would like to have Jamme back because of the nature of Jame, mm -hmm. and because of the fact that it could be a case, um, I mean, uh, it can be a possibility of instability to his own government. So he probably is not sincere about Jame's coming. But then he want to play along with the mm -hmm. APRC executives so that he get reelected, and that's what matters for him. Many people believe that's Barrow's intention. If that is the case, and President Barrow, uh, President Jame seemed to know about that, then he, you know, being what he, who he is, he probably, can say, well, I'm not going to this way anymore. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, uh, President Barrow have seen, uh, have shown mm -hmm. uh, to have been accepting something 
only to do so, uh, otherwise later on too. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the three-year agreement then turned to five-year agreement. Uh, and other, other agreements that have been done and then he backtracked on them. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamia could have analyzed this, mm -hmm. that this is a behavior that he is expecting to see, he is seeing mm -hmm. and think, feels that perhaps it is his, uh, his, uh, the chance that him coming back uh, it would be very slim. Mm -hmm. Um, now, APRC, I think that the Fabaka Tombonjadas are not that crazy, they're not dumb. Mm. You know, this idea that to say that APRC be, believe in Jami as their supreme leader. Mm. If, I'm, if they are going to, into uh, coalition with NPP, I think that Jami's return will be right square in. You in believe the that? Well, it's 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 it's, a, it's it's something that is a given mm -hmm. what what would they benefit mm -hmm. what would they benefit in the alliance well they could they they the leaders could get jobs after the alliance. they're not looking for jobs well that's what they claim yeah. well they're not looking for jobs you sure what are they claim? are you sure that all the, 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 the and the and the other guys mm -hmm. they're doing i'm sure i hope i i think that they're doing well running aprc well that's not a job they're voluntarily yeah. doing that are they not getting paid? No, they're not getting paid. Well, then maybe it's the glory. But what I'm saying you is... Are, you want to believe. It, there's no naive of you that these people in the executive are not expecting job from Baro. Uh, uh, no, he's really they, they could be looking for a job. That's oh, yeah. a part of it. Mm. But a bigger part of it mm. is their love for Jame and the return of Jame. Fabat mm. Katom Bonjara said that in his interview. That's that what they said. But he didn't show any part of the agreement which says exactly, even though many people dispute that. But what I'm saying is, it, if it's not under obligation, maybe there's a reason why they don't want to show it. And they even, don't, even when you need to convince a lot of your own people. Yeah. So, so that uh, is I, if I, they need to, <laughs> they're the ones who need to convince people. Yeah. Even their own people. Yeah. They need to convince them. Yeah. Yet they won't produce it. They said they are under no obligation. Mm -hmm. That led to a lot of suspicions. suspicions. And in fact, it could have saved a lot of, I mean, the confusion. Yeah. If no, at least true, not true. for the public, but for the benefit of the leaders of the yeah. other faction and say, look, this is what we have said. That, does, does it make common sense that at least that is true. within themselves they should yeah. assure each other? Yeah, that is true. I mean, their failure, many people think their failure to produce anything tangible mm -hmm. to convince the other side could have led to this. But then of course, I mean, it comes to, 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 to the same thing. Did, is Jammer really sure or is he convinced that there is even sincerity on the part of the Barrow government to have him back? Because you know, he, I mean, why do we have economic here and foreign troops? Why do we have it here? I mean, their purpose is to come and secure, protect the government, protect the president. Those are the key principal things. Protect the government, protect the head of state. Mm -hmm. Those are the principles, uh, principal, uh, I mean, mission of economic mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. Now, many people believe that um, as long as Barrow stays, those, th those, those economic forces will, uh, those, some sort of foreign troops will stay one way or the other. Now, it's in the same vein that people think that perhaps because of those reasons, he may think, think Jammer's presence can present some insecurity or some instability, mm -hmm. and therefore he may not be interested. All what he wants to do is to play politics, get the election, and do whatever he likes to pass. If that is what actually, I mean, this is what yeah. some people thought, and we yeah. talk to them, and that's what they tell us. Yeah. It's what we believe. So if those school of thoughts are right, Probably that's what led to Jammy saying that, well, I don't see any benefit in this. I have to go, have to go out. All these things are speculative. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't have, you know, the two things that we know. Mm -hmm. uh, Barrow said that in po during campaign or in politics, you can say anything you want. That's one. <laughs> two. You still hold, hold that to him. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because uh, he said it mm -hmm. and then he did mm -hmm. it in action. Mm -hmm. Two, Jame is uh, his behavior of uh, uh, mm -hmm. erratic behavior mm -hmm. of making a decision and backtracking on it. Yeah. That's also evidence. So those two are there. Mm -hmm. The rest, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm say saying is that the economic uh, is here. Mm -hmm. But if we look at the composition of economic now, whether people accept it or not, there was uh, last uh, 
uh, I think it was Thursday, the day of uh, Maulud on Monday. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Basura and I was coming down, mm -hmm. uh, coming back home. Mm -hmm. I saw a PIU mm -hmm. uh, officer. Mm -hmm. I stopped. Mm -hmm. And then I started speaking, <laughs> speaking Mandinka to the PIU guy. Exactly. And then he spoke Senegalese language to me. Right. Um, at this point, of course, we have uh, Pamakan. Um, he is the uh, PRO, the Spokesperson and Director of Communications and Training at the IEC to, to take through on uh, the nomination process and so on. Mr. Ken, thank you very much for joining us live. Um, to start with, uh, I want to know how far is the nomination scheduled? Because although we have political parties or individual candidates uh, announcing their own nomination dates and time, um, I'm yet to see a comprehensive uh, release from the IEC telling the public um, exactly what time is for so-and-so party or so-and-so individual. Or have you done that? Yes, actually we are on the process. Uh, we initially had a total of 21 parties that printed the nomination papers. 21? Twenty-three individuals have collected the form, whether they represent parties or themselves. That's right. But uh, this, of course, uh, some are independent candidates and also some are from political parties. So this is this, this, uh, kept uh, rising. Initially, we had uh, 18, then we lose about 21, then they get the increasing. So this one is just for one of the maybe by next week. Good. Um, we were talking very hotly, um, and of course you must have uh, followed the opinions being expressed as to the criteria. We know the IEC have come out with 12, and that's it. Nothing else. But some people are suggesting that other things might be included, as far as you know, like eligibility, things like people who might have been convicted of felony, people who might not have lived in this country continuously uh, for five years. Can you clarify those things? People said, some said, okay, outside the 12 points you presented, there's no other criteria. Absolutely, there is no other criteria. This is law, actually. Okay. And it now specifies the 12 criteria before someone is qualified to be nominated. So there is no more uh, on top of that. So Good. once somebody fulfills all those 12 criteria, why not? The person is qualified now to be Good. So that, that makes it point. This is the 12 points that the IEC, uh, uh, I mean, are concerned to fill the criteria and nothing outside. Absolutely. All right. Um, you know, you have expressed in the, in the, in, in the, in the beginning of the year that uh, you preferred ballot paper because of the enormous work that could be faced by your commission when all these 21 people want a ballot box. I'm sure you must be going to a nightmare <laughs> these days. understand from this one uh, but let me go check you through where will you get staff I remember you were recruiting staff 
I had the Ministry of Education most in the past. Uh, I mean, teachers used to comp I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean compose most of your staff. They are saying their teachers are not longer going. Where will you get staff now? Uh, absolutely. Uh Eventually, have 21 or so names in the ballot. Um, you will, of course, have a big nightmare in drawing up your campaign schedule because just how on earth would you be able to separate these parties or independent candidates in this tiny Gambia from running into each other? deadline for withdrawals because you as you may understand some people might agree among themselves to some sort of an alliance in that case there could be withdrawals until when does the candidates have to withdraw And then all the same, you people have to prepare the materials for all these people until until that deadline pass when you would know, okay, Mr. X is no longer going. who may not have previously declared but they then they just secretly pick the form and people only not got no don't know them know about them when they got nominated. who have done this but certainly you must feel that uh, amending the deposit to 10,000 almost certainly makes it they feel very cheap for even pretenders to join for even pretenders to join
far less far, that is that is that is that is almost it. far less than the, the amount of money we spend on a candy. very much for being on the brunch live so there we have it the IEC uh, director of communications um, and training mr. Khan pa Khan uh, I mean you know clarifying perhaps more importantly that uh, the IC's criteria for presidential election in this country are just 12 and that is you must be a candidate I mean, you must be a citizen of the Gambia. You must have attained a minimum of 30 years. You must have completed senior secondary schools, or what they call here was, or maybe all level, all level in the past. And uh, you must be nominated um, by at least 5,000 registered voters, 250 from each region or at least 200 from each region and you also must have been ordinarily resident in the Gambia over the past five years that is the period leading to the election and you must swear a declaration of assets you must declare uh, how much uh, motor cars or how much uh, uh, jars and bottles you have <laughs> in your house <laughs> so to speak you must also have paid all your tax whether you're a businessman or a civil servant uh, uh, you know uh, or, or if you if you if you don't belong to any of them at least your compound rate you will pay that <laughs> then you can have you have to pay a deposit of ten thousand dollars which is amended from five hundred thousand as we said um you must have rep you know have symbols colors etc like this man in the studio who has rice ready for cooking uh among other things you must also be a qualified voter yes so you, before you can contest you must yourself have acquired a voter's card uh, uh, and then you you know if it is a political party or group you must abide by the court code of conduct for the campaign and you must submit a manifesto which encourages the spirit of tolerance and culturalism you have done that isn't it you have well, everybody has a manifesto one way or the other we have our manifesto it's a must now that you must it's a must. and it must definitely reflect the spirit mm -hmm. of tolerance, tolerance and yeah. multiculturalism I am lucky we have to be proud that we have our manifesto out since November and I think anybody who wanted to ah. have access to it had access to it ah. so hey that's it so this makes it clear yeah to the yes you, you you were very you know adamant in pushing these points that people must not bother themselves with uh, it, you know issues that are unnecessarily bringing confusion when actually it has been spelled out by the IEC exactly the criteria you need to uh, get be eligible for election yeah. and those are the 12 these are the 12 these are the 12 mm -hmm. and I, I hope now people will be quiet about this and not make lists <laughs> Uh, of people, people and creating confusion, creating confusion and, uh, because okay. it's not it's not healthy we mm. want a, we want a peaceful uh, political environment and mm. we want a peaceful election so uh, trying to uh, cause chaos mm. by interpreting the law mm. and you don't even know how to interpret the law ah, good so yes so parfal independent candidates from the campaign Kaironi Nemo. Nemo in Kaironi. Nemo. Well, that's where you come <laughs> in the post, them, but they are the same. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Okay. I'm going to ask that the people, my supporters mm -hmm. and my my uh, uh, my uh, sympathizers, mm -hmm. please, if somebody comes in and tells you that Papa Fall has stopped oh, running, are there, have there been any suggestions? Or it's rumors? been going on for a while. So, it's been going on they go to my supporters and they tell them oh i'm a papa fall and then they say well he's not serious or he will say they will say we'll give you he's not serious he doesn't have any money he will we will give you whatever you want or to the point they will say no he stopped running he's no longer running 
So you want to you want to say that there have been people going around telling them Papa Fall is no longer running, he doesn't have money, he's not serious. This has been going on. Well, but do you suspect politicians who do it or parties? They tell me who they are, but I'm not going to say it online. I just want to let them know that desist, I know. Desist from it. Desist from it. It is not a healthy thing to do. But you know who, do, who does. Why not say who does? No. Ah, okay. I think it's, it is important. Ah. Uh, like I say, I'm always... Uh, uh, you know, for 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 the uh, the spirit of, you know, harmony and ah. everything else. Let's leave what it like that. What will but if they don't do if they don't stop? That's why I'm talking to my supporters. <laughs> if they come in and tell you that, they kick them out. Kick them out or arrest them or hand them hand them over. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's dirty politics, and it's a, we don't need that. We don't need okay. that. There you go. So. Mm -hmm. Papa Fall is dead serious about his uh, presidential ambitions. He's going to have his name in the ballot box. Uh, yep. According to him, there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Ah, okay. I have my $10,000 here ready. <laughs> <laughs> I had my $500,000 here. I, I was thinking about where I'm going to get it. Now ah. there's $10,000 here. I already wrote the check and it's sitting <laughs> down there. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, uh, Fall, for being on the brunch. And thank you all for watching us. Uh, mm. From wherever you are we will be back perhaps with uh, a lot more crowded more crowded uh, panel i hope uh, next week until then love and charm with you have a great weekend data now even better enjoy 20% extra data on all gum cell data bundles buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes any amount of gum cell data bundle you buy you will receive 20% extra data for free dial star 302 star data amount hash or go to your yai bottom menu and choose your data bundle now gum cell data is fast Last longer and very reliable. Gamsil Yai Bom. For all your pastry, bakery, and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice Ebe and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more. Because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980-8483-340-4500.
0302-2400 or 6359906. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. Innovarex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.